All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, do I got another banger of a comparison video yet again for use today. And speaking of comparison videos, guys, this is a direct video comparison. And if you're new to my channel, the first part of the video is them posing individually. And the second part of the video, which is the best part of the video, is them posing side by side. And I try to get them pose for pose the best that I can for you guys, just so we could see the difference in the physiques. Because they both looked phenomenal at this 96 German Grand Prix. And I must say that this 1996 German Grand Prix might have been the most stacked Grand Prix lineup in Grand Prix history. Besides the 1999 English Grand Prix, this has got to be the second best Grand Prix. I mean, everybody from one through eight could be a Mr. Olympia champion nowadays. You had everybody from Dorian Yates who took first place, Nasser El Sambadi who took second place, Kevin Lavroni who took third place. I mean, the lineup was just super stacked. Vince Taylor, he looked really good as well at this show. I mean, the lineup just goes on and on and on and on and on. Back in the day, the lineups were just so stacked. I mean, the competition was so much better. I mean, nowadays, Go find any Grand Prix contest. What? You got one or two guys that look good and the rest of the lineup just looks like shit. But I digress because bodybuilding just went to such shit throughout the years. I mean, from, you know, back in the 90s till now. I mean, you can't even compare. And it has to do with the drugs, guys. It all has to do with the drugs. Just too much insulin, IGF-1, peptides. And peptides is the real motherfucker. Peptides is what really gets you that puffy look. Like Phil Heath has that real puffy look. That's the peptides, man. Peptides give you that real, real puffy, puffy look. That's why I would never take peptides. I did one time and I just didn't like the way it made me look. So I never took them ever again. And that's why women actually use it as a... Uh, um, like a form of makeup. They rub that peptide shit on their cheeks and stuff and it makes them look puffier. It's kind of like Botox in a way. But like I said, I digress because I don't believe in that shit. But anyways, guys, let's see who was really better and who really deserved to play second here, Nasser or Kevin. Because like I said, Kevin plays third and I think Kevin should have played second. I think Kevin was just a little bit better. Kevin was nice and big, yet he was ripped. That's why they call them mass with the class, baby. Look at this. They both have great midsections. I mean, Nasser has to be 275 pounds here. Kevin, what, 250? And they both just look fantastic. And as I said before, guys, this is a direct video comparison. So the second part of the video, as you can see here, is them posing side by side. And I try to get them shot for shot the best that I can so we can see the difference in the physiques. And I tell you, that side chest pose, Kevin looks unbelievable in. That's one of his money shots. He just destroyed Nasser in that pose. And this is why Nasser lost in the 97 Olympia was because of the back. Kevin has such a better back. Kevin's traps are more sunk in. Nasser's back is just a little faded, in my opinion. And his rear lat spread sucks. Look at Nasser's rear lat spread. It's very weak. The traps are weak. But I gotta say, in 1997, he did bring that back up. His back looked a lot better in 1997. 1998 and 1999, it looked really good as well. So he definitely brought his back up. But if his back looked a little bit better... I think he would have beat Dorian Yates at the 97 Mr. Olympia. That's just my opinion. But guys, let me know what you think about this performance by Kevin Lavroni and Nasser El Sambadi. Do you think that Kevin should have beat Nasser at this uh, competition? Because I think so. I mean, look at the midsection though on Kevin. It's just super tight in that ab and thigh pose. He just looks amazing. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.